Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where I'm just remembering that our battery is empty and all of our power is out. Ran out of gas. <laughs> yeah, the good old days. But we're in a thunderstorm and I'm waiting to see if a couple of lightning strikes can kind of kickstart the system again and get us rolling. So, <laughs> yeah, those days when you're a bachelor and... Just barely getting by, huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm waiting for that first strike to hit. Everyone's pretty much asleep except Rita, who came in late. Yeah, I know as soon as I turn my head somewhere else, I'm going to miss it. But we are dead. Ah, coming in over here. It's rolling in closer. Otherwise, what is there to do today? Okay, there's the noise. The wind. Usually it's after a big burst of wind like that that we get our strikes. Of course, it'll probably strike behind me and I won't be able to see it. But... New insect nest. Hmm. Um... Ore, meaning mining ore, is pretty important. And apparently mining insect nests is more important than I had realized. That might be what's holding us back right now. Could be. Woohoo! There we go. Two bars for each strike. Okay. And power is back on. <laughs> How is our. Our. Uh, uh, where is one of them? Our lightning rod network. Can I. I can't shift click. I can double click. Can't do that either. If I say copy, then they'll all turn on. Ah, okay. So we are. Got quite a few of them right now. A little thin right in there, but that's probably okay. Though I guess I can move this guy in a little bit. Yeah, probably could. I did a little work over here last time. Let me spin around so we can see what's happening out there. Something hit over there. Um, more plants in here. It'd be kind of nice if Rita went in and started planting everything so we can get get them growing. Some uh, stools or seats. For our wedding arch and build kind of a little wedding chapel area over here including a lightning rod you'd have a thunderstorm pop up right during the ceremony oh that'd be bad but what we got here freezer i saw a freezer something Ooh, where was that right over here right somewhere over there there you are I barely see you where are we at here four bars down to three okay Anyway, constructing stairs, yeah, now that I'm doing all this renovation, I'm not playing quite as often. I'm two or three, sometimes four days in between episodes of actually recording. I forget some of the things I did last time. I did this right after I stopped recording. Worked on the fence line a little bit more and then threw some more staircases in to, to kind of simulate what used to be there. Best I could do, I could not get these guys to connect. It just died off. It wouldn't drop into another, you know, how they kind of join up into each other here. It wouldn't let me. The grade changed on the hillside. But I'll yeah, get these built, and I think they'll look good. Whether they use them or not doesn't matter. It makes me feel good. <laughs> um, anybody out escaping to go do something else? Just Edmund's out. Okay. Look at the storm clouds rolling through there. Um, who's on an expedition? Carter is. Hmm. It has been a long time. I don't remember sending him off. What? what what's, what, what's going on there? Expeditions. Carter is... Uh, or did I set it to happen? Carter's over here. Shooting star. Did I set it to happen for him when he woke up? I don't know. Um. <laughs> cancel and I. Is he there? Because I was just in that graphic. Yeah, I don't see him in the sky out over here. I see a really nasty thunderstorm over there, though. But I guess he's off to go see about that shooting star. Okay. 
I don't remember if I did that in the last episode or if it's something I was thinking about doing in between episodes and said it and expected to remember to talk about it and then it slipped my mind. So Carter's not going to be um, mining ore today. <laughs> Edmund, I guess it's up to you. So what is actually happening right now? Try to refresh my own memory. So planting wise, these guys I think have just come in, or they were leftovers from last time, and we missed harvest on them, and now they've they've recycled. Okay, um, we're going to plant the giant's grass instead of the blade grass here. All of the grain has been brought in through this area, which means what? Three thousand grains. We can probably let Rita off on that, except. Hmm. Unless it all rots away. That's what I'm about to say, but, um, boy. So, if we can keep the freezer working, this will be here indefinitely. 96 days is... Day 25. So, like, 48 days a year? So, that's two years worth of grain. Okay. That helps put things into perspective. Or at the very least, we can start seriously using it up. That's a lot of handling and transporting, though. But, yeah, we don't need to worry so much about this. Um, so planting this one is not important. Let's just turn planting off. You are cloth blossoms. That is this guy. No, this guy. Cloth, 560. And we've got these few planted. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what Rita needs to be doing for the next whatever. And planting is probably good enough right now. So Rita, where are you at the moment? You came in late last night, but you did get enough rest. You are harvesting. How about I instead set you to go do something over where there's no lightning rod? Hmm. Okay. Um, okay, you go ahead and do what you want. Edmund, you're over here on your way in to go read. You're fine relaxation-wise and happiness-wise. Can you go and... Hmm, that is a long way out of our out of our radius, so out of our zone of protection. Copy you. It is... Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep you building things. How are we over here? Although, I don't really need to have this area protected. I just need us protected. Like right there. I don't mind if lightning hits the bugs going through the, uh, through the defensive uh, corral there. Yeah. So this guy could actually be moved over. If you were to move... So you're right there... We don't... I don't think we need the house protected so much. If we were to pop you in about like that, I can see the cable there still attaching to the power line. Let's do that. And Edwin, you can get that guy moved. Just doing something for, for later that we're going to wish we had done at some point. Um, otherwise, you're fine. Rita, can you cut these out. Cut out the fruit bushes in this area. And that'll keep you in an area that is uh, protected. And while you're at it, go ahead and cut that one just to get it gone. Need that so we can build fencing. Um, Paulette, you are cooking. You need a meal. What do our meals look like these days? Two. <laughs> okay. So, Paulette, how about you go ahead and eat a meat pie, and then you'll spend your day cooking. So, Rita's busy, Carter's busy. Simon, what are you up to right now? You're crafting spears. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to let you do that. Yeah, okay. So, Edmund is going to be working on that, but what else is there for him to do? Edmund, when you're done, can you cut these trees? And what else is in an area of protection? Can you cut these three trees? All right, so you do that. Uh, Kana, are you making electronics? You are. Okay. 
And Umayar, you're normally researching. You are. What are you researching nowadays? You are researching battery optimization. Okay, that's good. What's next? Maybe these guys. Emergency rations. Mm. Brewing. We could pop that in there as well as two root oil. I've not seen this before. Are not rich in fats, but they still contain enough to make vegetable oil. We just need a cold press. Don't we have one? We just need to learn how to add that to it, I guess. Okay. We'll add you, we'll add you, just to get those done, and the possibility that they may trigger something new. Hydroponic racks, that's something... Did that pop in with to today's update? It might have. Today's the 28th and I'm recording this. Seems like hydroponics was just mentioned recently. I think that's part of the new... Uh, uh, the new update that just hit. Um, I can't think of the title they gave it. It has to do with a, a new scenario for the game. To create a hydroponic rack, we'll need a few basic materials like metal bars and grow lights. However, instead of using water, we'll be using soil to grow our plants. The key to success in ensuring proper aeration and monitoring the pH level of the soil. With a hydroponic rack, we can grow fresh herbs and vegetables year-round without the need of harmful pesticides. Let's give it a try and see how easy it is to grow our own produce at home. So in other words, I believe growing indoors instead of outdoors and being subject to not being able to grow in the wintertime, which isn't an issue for us. We are loaded with raw foods. So we're good there. Electric smelting, I don't see the need unless it's really really faster there's a lot of electrical power to deal with um, sensing devices need to be in when we do start using the automated turret and the I don't know if the flamethrower works on that or not don't remember the flamethrower is electrified like the automated turret is it runs on fuel I don't know if it runs on a sensor I don't think it does, but, you know, we'll find out. Um, laser pistols. Actually, it'd be nice to have... Hmm. It takes a power cell. It takes an, uh, a CPU. Yeah. And ten of those. As compared to a... Where is that? Here. Hello. There. And railgun sniper. Okay, carbon nanotubes. That's the difference. We have that all available. If we got to have the other pieces, the CPU core and the power cells for it anyway, we may as well get the range. The advantage of the of the pistol, though, is that they shoot twice as fast. So you can get closer in and pew, 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 pew. Whereas the sniper, is, it's a long reload, but you can start doing it from a much longer distance. I think I like the distance more than I like the how, you know, how quickly it fires. Okay, um, so that doesn't necessarily have to be on the list. Let's continue working through here. Incendiary traps takes ore, or alloy, and fuel. I think one time, and then they reload over and over again. Um, automated turrets, radio, which is an in-game scenario, though I want to say for the new update with the new scenario it gives you communication with uh, and the ability to trade to orbiting craft just like in RimWorld. Hay cloth, hay sausage, battery optimization, carbon armor. I think that's our next research subject. I kinda think so. Though we can start making better clothing out of these too. So we'll toss those in. And see where that goes. So that is everyone's plan. So I don't need to get Umiar to, to help with the planting. I think we're kind of done there. Um, Rita's going to clear these things out. Edmund's going to move that. Kana is gathering parts. Oh, she wanted to get it from here. Okay. And Carter 
I don't know what his ETA was. I, I don't remember if I saw him in the room or if he took off last episode. I think he left right after breakfast. That would be my get my my best guess. I'm not sure about that. Um, Edmund's reading. Where did Edmund go? He's he's determined to read that story. What I have him do? I had him cut all these trees, and he didn't do it. Yeah, he's he's done. Okay, then Edmund, why don't you go and write a story then? If you're gonna do that, then we get the same benefit writing it is reading it and others can get the benefit of doing the reading afterward um windows i had thought about this and then never really got around to doing much with it copy ah, i can't put them here because of the instruments which is odd you can't put them there because you got to be able to open and close it but you can come outside and do it they open out so why can't you put one here uh so if I were to move you to, there's nowhere else to move you. I guess there. Okay. And <laughs> Edmund read my mind. <laughs> okay. You move that over. And thank you. And you're constructing stairs now. Copy. Okay, I can put you there, which I like a lot better than this. Though, I guess in a sense, this is a window for this room. Call it a hallway. This is a window for this room. Which, I guess we did kind of have one over here. There is no window for this room, so we can't cool it down. Unless I could put one right here. That's all connected, but the battery's in the way. And we... Didn't quite fill the battery. We got pretty close. Um, Edmund, there's something you could do. Can you give me some fuel? Thank you. And for that matter, this guy too. He's out? Yeah. So why don't you go do those two jobs? And then can you get back to the cutting I'd asked you to do? Uh, Edmund. And... Plant. Oh, okay. Reserved by Simon. Simon, no. Maybe I was... Maybe I clicked on Simon when I assigned that. Is Simon assigned to this one too? It is. Or he is. Okay. I must have clicked on the wrong person. I've been an entire series mixing up Simon and Edmund. And we didn't go to see where this was. Okay. Boy, we flipped a long distance. We did. This area gets a lot of bug nests. I'm going to pause it for a minute so we can go back over there before the thunderstorm's over. Let's see if I can get my bearings over the top of this. Oh, we're in the other direction. Okay. So we up like this, over the top. Now, where was that bug nest? Right up there, so straight above us. Okay, so we've got one there. And then we've got... The one that we took out, which is these two, and nothing new has moved in. Okay. Then we've got right over the top of this area. No. Over here somewhere. Another bug nest. Okay, so four total. I think there's a fifth one somewhere, too. That one right there. That's not the new one. Nope, it's not. So we have five. We have plenty of carbon nanotubes if we want them. Okay, and if this storm would stop, then we could actually go out and maybe get a few of those. And speaking of stopping, let's see if that last lightning strike hits. Mm, yep, over there somewhere. Okay, so with that, Rita, you... Uh, yeah, go ahead and bring all those in since you've, got, since you've gone to the effort. Bring those in. And Rita, you need a meal. Do we have any meal that's fun? Uh, no. And no. She's making fun right now. Is there any fun in here? Uh, no eat. And no eat. So... Rita, I guess you... Where are you going now? Oh, you're going to go and do all these. Okay. 
But after that, come and grab some kind of a meal. Eat that one. And then when you're done with that... I do have Rita, yeah. Because I kind of mix her and Paulette up at times. Can you get over here and plant and plant and... I'll just repeat this 49 times. <laughs> Lots of variety of colors in here. That would make this area look pretty good. Alright, so... Expedition. I found a military-grade reinforced crate where the meteorite fell. That's interesting. But its contents... Oh, it was quite damaged, but its contents should be okay. Interesting. So, shooting star wasn't just a meteor this time. So, come on back. Okay. Now, last episode was the attack. Yeah, because all the traps aren't even reset yet. Which is a little bit of a problem. Edmund, you're going to eat. I was wondering if we dare take off in any other expeditions. Maybe we get some more CPUs or something. Which we could. But... Yeah, we do need to get the traps redone, and we need some more ore. And that's right, we were going out to get ore over there. And it's already 1,400. So tomorrow morning, I need to send both of them out to do that. Or I could send one out and just mine ore. Hmm. Okay, Edmund, I think that's you then. As soon as you're done, pop over here. Mine two ore. Mine four ore and three ore. And I'll stick this in the list. I don't think you'll get there by midnight. But you should be in good shape otherwise. And I did get Edmund this time, not Simon. Okay. So you do that. Did you take the trees down? You took the trees down. Good. So that's all done. This is a new stretch of the smaller trees. Uh, we have any examples around? I think those are all big trees. That guy right there. These little guys all through here. Um, I could have someone else plant those. Yeah, I could do that. Oh, they are. Why don't you come out and get some fresh air? Why don't you plant these guys and then come on over and plant these guys, which is the whole length? Yeah. You do that. Paulette, I want to continue cooking. Kana, I really need those electronics so you continue that Simon is actually going to go make a couple of smoking pipes yeah it was Paulette who really enjoyed a smoke so yeah we should probably have a few of those in stock for her um, we added something or something changed right there just now so you're planting Rita was planting are you still out here there you are so you're starting to put various things in, different trees, and there's some glow caps, we call these guys, uh, glitter caps. And, oh, you have to take down all the trees in order to plant these. Ah, uh, okay. But there's some purple, and this will be some red of the uh, silicone leaf, which you can't plant until this one comes out. Ah, uh, you probably can't plant half of these. I see. So I need someone to give you a hand over here. And I would... Actually, well, I take that back. I wouldn't mind if Rita did get a little more strength. And all the cutting gives strength. So, yeah, we'll let her we'll let her do that. Otherwise, she's in decent shape except relaxation. But each time that she does some more planting, she gets a quick bonus. Because she enjoys it. So it should be a plus 18 as soon as she turns around right here and starts planting. So, let's see if that actually happens. It didn't. Well, she is farming. Uh, slept, slept, ate, cheerful, somewhat. Really? Hmm. Don't know what to make of that. Anyway, how's Umiar doing? He's done that side. He's over here getting started on this one. And he is really tanking as far as happiness. I know he really hates being outside, but I think he'll survive. 
So he played music, and he appreciated the decoration, and he enjoyed a beverage. So I think he'll be okay. Um, that lightning rod, love to get that in. Edmund, what did I send you off to do? I sent you double click all the way out here to mine. And maybe we can get Simon to go out there and collect everything later. Though I see you're only going to get as far as these four. We're already, already at 1800. I thought you would be a lot faster at that. I guess mining is just a very slow job. Carter, are you back yet? You're not. You in the air? Meteor coming down over there. Yeah, I thought you would have been back by now. It's only a five hour trip. Paula's cooking more fruitcakes. Kana is eating a fruitcake. Simon is crafting. Planting. And... You're really aiming for down there, but you've got a lot banked. So you're going to be okay. Rita, how you doing? You've been out all day. Rita. There's your name over there. Planting broadleaf trees by cutting down conifer trees. <laughs> ah, there he is. All right, what did he find in a military box? Blah. <laughs> you found antibiotics and scrap metal. Really? Dude. Okay. You are going to go build something, right? You desperately want to get down here and build a staircase. Ah, go ahead and haul that in and haul that in. Okay. Kana is going to do another one. So are we storing these or are we putting them into where they belong? No. They go here. We're almost ready. We are almost ready. One more and we can make a second battery. Which is almost out. And this is running? This is running now. Okay. So the system's up and going. Temperature inside is 14 degrees. And I meant to do something a little different. I forgot about that. This guy we've got set for 14. This could be our main one. This guy we should set for more like 20. So take you to there. And get someone to do something with it. Simon is smoking. Simon, when you're done, go over here and handle the air conditioner. That way only this guy's running when necessary rather than both. And if this guy can't keep up, then this one will kick in. But we've got 16 power each. So that's quite a bit. You need to have both those running all the time. So you're going to go change this guy to a target temperature of 19. So 20 became a 19. Oh well. Good enough. I'm still seeing like it's running. The, the waves. Hmm. So it is 19 indoors. So that triggered it to come back on. Okay. Oh. So that doesn't mean turn off when you get below 19. That means... So it's not running like an air conditioner. It's running like a heat pump. It's going to maintain 19 no matter what. Okay. Never mind. Everybody goes back to 14. So... Who, what, where, how? That was Simon. Who is over here sitting. Okay. And when you're done, come on over and do that again. <laughs> You got it? You got it. Okay. So, yeah. If it was just an air conditioner, I could set it warmer and it would come in when that guy couldn't handle it and the room got warm up to that temperature. But, no, now it's actually acting as a heater and bringing it up to 19. That's a shame. Okay. So, you were getting more to make more pipes because you smoked your pipe. Now, we only make one at a time, huh? Where is that, by the way? Over here? That is here. No, it's not. Smoke leaf pipe two. Let's make that a four. Now, did you... I think you did uh, make the spears. And you needed one. No, you you went and got one. Got one. Oh, they got them on their own. Well, 
Carter, you are sitting when you're done. Come grab a spear. Paulette, when you're done, come grab a spear. Okay. Handling a fermentation barrel. So how much pickled vegetables? We have 166. 316. So there's more somewhere else. Where? Oh, they must be in the barrels. Yeah, there's 50 right there. Okay. Can you bring all those in? Hmm. Can I make you... Ferment, store undesired items? Can you grab them from all of them? No. Can you store undesired items? <laughs> cool. Can you haul those two? No, you can't. <laughs> okay. Well, somebody will. Yeah. Carter bored Umair with bland small talk. Okay, Carter, what is your plan for right now? You really need a rest. It is midnight. Is there anything else I specifically need done? What are you doing? You get something to eat. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Edmund. Oh, we forgot Edmund. Double. I'm not double clicking fast enough. Okay, you don't really need to finish that. Whoever comes out for this one can get that one. So I'd say it's time for you to come back. And if I have you haul that ore in, it's here, right? There it is. You're going to walk really, really slow. Let's try that. Um, double click right there. So Edmund, if I had you haul ore, That's your walk speed. If I have you instead draft, undraft, and go to bed, you'll run in. Yeah. If I don't do that, it'll be two, three, probably three in the morning by the time you finally get there with that ore. So it'd be better to send Simon out there and he'll do it at you know double double the speed. Okay, I need someone to reset the traps. I need someone to go out and get the ore and finish mining that ore. And it wouldn't hurt to send somebody up there to go get some more of the carbon nanotubes. They don't carry that much. Hmm. Rita, how did you do? You are at 2 in the morning and still planting. Let's release you. For some reason, they won't break that pattern on their own. Other times when I tell them to do something, they just ignore me and go to bed. But I guess if you get it in early enough in the day, they... Uh, yeah, they, they, they don't know how to do anything but. Hmm. Edmund has decided to construct stairs, but I sent him in to go to bed. Dude, come on. Get over here and go to bed. Otherwise, what's up? Rita came in to eat, then she's drinking. Kana's assembling. Oh, she's going to finish that. Okay. Rita has not gone to bed yet, has she? She's doing everything but. So, Rita, time for you to go to bed, which is here. Right? I think so. So, you do that. Simon got some sleep. <laughs> Kana got her sleep. So, she's going to finish off the one more battery. Then, I think it's it would be wise if we... Ah, there's... That's why she's not loading the, the parts into there. So once she finishes that, let's have her transport all of those to the battery. Ah, she did it on her own. Great. So let's see this happen. Maybe... Is it going to go purple? No, she's got to get one more. Sitting? No, why don't you go ahead and construct it. Make that happen. And then we'll see if the solar panels... Now, they're probably not enough anymore because we have a second one of these. It's a huge energy hog. Okay, so it's probably time to get another solar panel to try to 
offset this. Probably two more. So a solar panel is what? Copy. You're not... Oh, there we are. Two electronics and ten scrap. Okay. Well, we could set the blueprint in place. So copy. And I guess they could all kind of go here for now. We may find a better place for these later. Okay. So with that, Kana is constructing a solar panel. How you doing that? You're just gonna go lay the or take the the scrap metal over there. Okay. No, I won't argue with that. I see Paulette is equipping some shoes, so she must have run out. We gave all of the spears away, except Paulette. She never got hers. So Paulette, can you come over here and grab that before you leave the area? Otherwise, spears on everybody. Might be nice to get more of these laser pikes. Although, I don't know how much they've actually been used. There is that. Okay. But Simon's going to get two more made, and then they'll be in stock. So Paula is making those. Carter is playing because it's 7 or 8 in the morning. And he... Yeah, he kind of needs it. So... Who do we have do what today? We could mine ore. We could get the traps reset. Which is kind of important. Or we could send a couple of miners out there on a long distance haul and bring a bunch of, uh, of materials back. We could. Uh, Eben looks like he's ready. At least he thinks he's going to go and construct some... some uh, stairs. Let's get Edmund to eat a meat pie. Let's get Carter to eat a a bush fruit. He doesn't need the plus 12. So we'll save that for somebody else. And we'll send both of them up there. Do we send anybody else? Hypothermia Edmund. How cold is it? Wow. Yeah. It's autumn cold uh windows did get closed i think i did that in between episodes okay and they're going to build these windows and that's going to freeze us out when i'm not ready for it ah uh, these need to get built you guys construct so kana actually i think i'll have you specifically do those okay so edmund you, well, I'll wait till you're, well, if I tell you to do it right now, you'll drop your meal on the ground and go do it. But I could say, when you're done with that, go grab a coat. And Simon, when you're done with that, go grab a coat. Okay. And then, don't know that you really need a beanie or a toque at this point for this trip. I think we'll wait till winter for those. But Connor's got the parts she needs to get those going so we can get some warmth into here. And I suppose it's time to fire these uh, fireplaces up. I think so. Let's start a fire. Okay. Berries are going away. Yep. Is there any more harvesting? Let me see. Berry plants. We had a bunch up here. So, yeah, they could still be harvested if we wanted to. But I think we're pretty good there. Well, just wonder if I should have Rita come up. Are these the closest ones? Or are these the closest ones? I think these are just a little bit closer. Well, it's hard to tell. don't have anything to use as a ruler. I'm going to go with these. I'm going to say um, orders, harvest, and something like that. Rita is sleeping. And she could use a jacket. Otherwise, she needs, I guess, a meal. Um, Rita, when you're done, why don't you... Anything over here? Uh, synthetic vest... And a crossbow and sneakers. 
Synthetic vest. What are you? Cold tolerance 50 de increases by 50 degrees as compared to a jacket, which is about the same, 46 degrees. So, Rita, when you're done, why don't you equip this synthetic vest? We'll uh, get you armored up. You're a very important member of our uh, of our group here. Without you, we can't plant half of that stuff. So we need to keep you safe. Um, that takes care of them. Then I think, well, they're marked. So Rita's going to get the command to go and harvest them. Yeah. So clearing construction site and constructing stairs. All right, Carter and Edmund, let's draft you guys. Let's take you up here. Let's have you run to here. And that is just a fallen log, okay? So you do that. What was the thump? Somebody built something. That was probably Kana. Yep, got them built. Now these rooms can get warm. Temperature in here is 39. It's quite cold in there. 37 in here. 38 indoors. So, Simon, when you're done, can you handle three fireplaces? Get that one finished. Actually, Umayar, you could do it right now. Yeah, once you do that, your research will be there waiting for you. Rita's harvesting. Rita, why don't you grab a meal? Fruitcake would be great. And then I think I will send you up here. And harvest 19 and harvest 6. And that will be fruit for the winter. Otherwise, looking for an Edmund and a Carter. And they are actually walking together. That's kind of nice. Interesting, this is like a dark trail. Do we create that or the game create that? I don't know. So there's that. You guys can mine for a while. And then, in fact, maybe you mine twice as much as you can carry. And that way we can send Simon back to get more later. Okay. So you'll be... Boy, you're going the long way around. You are. What's happening out over here? I need somebody to go reset traps. I think it's Kana. And you've already got it in place. Why don't you carry those in? He's someone also get another run of of uh, ore going here. Need to get this guy going. That's probably a Simon thing. In fact, I think it's time to have him do it right now. So Simon, you're in great shape. Can you from ore, from ore, just keep doing that. You'll eventually go and pick up all that ore that they've already mined. Okay, and Kana, when you drop that off, there. Okay, come on down here and handle traps, handle traps, traps, and a trap. Anything left? Oh, there's three more I missed. There's one in there I missed somewhere. I think that is all, but what about these guys? Oh, there's two over here that got missed. Okay, you go ahead and... Oh, I held the shift button down. Okay, do that over again. Grab those. Then I can hold the shift down. Over here. Those. If I miss anything, I think I've got it all now. Okay, so you'll take care of all that. And... Anything else that's important? Um, this run right here would be nice to get done before the next thunderstorm. Otherwise, could get you back to do a little more of the planting. Oh, that's Rita, not Kana. So Rita made it. Oh, that's right. These guys just sitting here waiting for me, twiddling their thumbs. They are. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, sorry guys. All right, undraft and... But they move twice as fast as if I had just said, hey, come on up here and mine. So you're going to mine that one and that one. Edmund, you're going to mine that and you're going to mine that. 
or you're going to go read. Edmund, let's try this again. Do that. And then do that. There we go. So mining, mining, mining. Carter, mining, 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 mining. Okay. Let's see if they actually do it. Or if I notice them later all walking back home just because, you know, <laughs> because it's them. Uh, Rita's harvesting like crazy. A lot of wind blowing right now. Ah, so insufficient by 70. That should be going away here soon. Okay. <clears throat> Cooking. Oh, we've got fireplaces lit. Good. So temperatures, they improving? 53 indoors, 51 in the bedroom. Okay. This bedroom, 52. Good. 54. So with that new update that hit today... Be curious to see if temperatures seem to work a lot better. There's not so much of a spread. In fact, let's look at this one. 75 here. 65 around the perimeter. That seems reasonable. Okay, well, we'll see what it's like in the middle of the night. So Simon is handling furnace. Okay, he's going to go get all that ore that was that was taken out. Hopefully he brings it all back. Um, handling traps. She does this pretty fast so that wasn't going to take up a lot of her time and when you're done can you just bring that in thank you that's been sitting out there for a long time get that one finished right into there good otherwise did you bring all the scrap metal you did and we still have the rest of it laying out here of course um achievement fairly competent i'm not sure what that means so I'll have to go and take a look. Oh, Rita reached farming 10. Okay, so she's our first number 10 skill level. Okay, well, good for her. She's bringing back her 140, leaving 504 more. Okay, Simon, <laughs> now you're busy. So tomorrow we'll get Simon to go and do that. I wonder what else goes bad early as far as harvesting. These guys are no longer harvestable. It could be that if these popped in time, harvest 40%, health and growth, but I think we've got to get to there before the harvest. Boy, it gets dark quick. Yeah. So I'm thinking that all the rest of these will make it through until we hit first of winter as far as being able to harvest you know, it has to pull a little more of you know something else in while we can um so yeah it's nighttime 1900 how did you guys do so we have 200 here we have 200 here and are you just starting i think we're going to stop there so you go ahead and bring in all that you can all we have 300 here and we'll let Edmund finish his run. Battery optimization. Great. Finish his run. Then he can haul in part of his 300. Carter can only do 160 at a time. So someone else can get the 140 that's left. And Edmund, you can haul in your 150. Okay. So Simon tomorrow is going to have some hauling to deal. Uh, Rita did come back. She's just getting here. Okay. And we've got scrap out here to haul in too. So Simon is loading up his last one. He's going to go drop that off. Let's just have him go straight back to here. Boom. Insufficient storage space. Um, dropped it on the ground. That's fine. It's normally stored... They went here last time. Why did they do that? What would that be? Crafting material? No. Building supply? Come on. Four clicks. We're metal alloys, so it's out here. 
So how could there not be enough room? There's nothing in this space. Interesting. I think just because he dropped it on the ground, it triggered something. That doesn't make sense. Anyway, I want you to haul in all the rest of this scrap metal. And so that can be done. Now I see there's some blueberries out here to haul in. We've got all this, all these sticks to haul in. We got lots of wood out here, right? The old fence line. Yeah. Wood all down this fence line to haul in. So it's lots of different hauling jobs. These have been sitting here for the longest time. Did we ever get the ones that were out here? After all that time? Must have. Where was that? Well, I could do this and find them. Right there. Sticks. So these need to get done someday, too. Otherwise, they are on their way back. 150, 160. It's going to be close to midnight when they get here. And cooking bread. Was it Carter that liked bread? Yeah. Give him a snack when he gets here. Umara, how are you doing? I know you like bread too. You're in pretty good shape though. You don't need the bonus. Kana, you are working on more electronics and that's good. That's kind of why I dropped this on the ground rather than have him go and drop it into the building. Let's... Uh, get some more uh, leave it available for something like a project like this uh, Rita is doing that Umayar, can I get you to haul in this that uh, uh, Paulette left behind chew root oil I'm oh, sorry we got a few things to read here so chew roots are not oh we already read that so now we can make oil out of it um, battery optimization. Batteries are not working as efficient as they could. Some fine-tuning and software engineering could double the amount of power stored in them. So did that cut our... I better cut it in half because it doubled the capacity. So this is going to run through the night, run out our fuel, and try to fill these guys back up again. Um, what are we looking at right now? For the system, negative 18. So it's running 18 more than we actually have to use. You are at 13 indoors. I think for the night we're going to turn you off. So turn off and I need Umiar to come and do that. Handle the air conditioner. And that should, well, it'll leave us at a negative 2 at that point. Let's watch that happen. Uh, there's the negative 18. Turns that off. We're at a negative 2, so we're still going to run out of power tonight for what we are using. Which is what? These are not on. So it's these two desks are absorbing most of it right now. So we really don't have anything else running other than lights. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't want to turn those off, so we'll just have a little bit of a deficit. Don't have to worry about this getting too cold. We're going to be below freezing tonight, so that's not a problem. Okay. Um, you guys getting close? Looking for S Edmund. Where's Carter? Oh, they, they went two different routes. Okay. Carter's determined this is the fastest route, and Edmund said, oh, I don't think so. Not in the dark. You'll break a leg walking that thing. <laughs> oh, it's midnight. Yeah. It'll be one or two in the morning by the time we finally get home. Uh, Simon's going to bed. Rita's eating. Then she'll be going to bed. Kana is eating. Umayar doesn't know when it's time to call it quits. Oh, as soon as I say that, he's off to bed. He is off to equip some pants. Did his pants fall off? No. What does that mean? Meaning he's at zero, basically. Okay. And you're gonna equip a shirt at the same time. You just you just gonna go all cool and and uh, hunky, uh huh. Are we out of shirts? We have a leather vest. 
Uh, heat tolerance is a decrease in heat tolerance, but is an increase in cold tolerance. Hmm. We could do that for you. Yep, yeah, why don't you do that? Can I get you to equip leather vest and that's in place of the shirt or is that in place of the jacket? That is in place of the jacket, so we need shirts. Okay, so trousers, shirts until we have two. So Kana, it's time to switch you back over to uh, activities and Kana and tailoring. Okay, when you get up tomorrow, you will start working on shirts for me. And with that, I'm sure Edmund's going to make it. Carter's right over there, and we can just assume that that uh, everything is going to be okay, because I think it's time to call this one done. This has been running for, yeah, we're coming up on that hour mark. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I guess I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.